Hey everyone, welcome again on DevStack. So in this video, we are going to deploy our chat server, the socket IO server to Heroku Cloud. So in one of the my old series, like blog app development series, we also deployed the our Node.js server on the Heroku Cloud. Okay, Heroku Cloud giving a free tire. So we are going to use the Heroku Cloud for deploying our backend server. Okay, so I'm going to provide this link. This is the old project link where I showed you that how you can uh, deploy your Node.js server from the Ubuntu system to the Heroku cloud. Right now I'm using the Windows system. So in this video, we are going to upload the, I mean, deploy the code from the Windows system to the Heroku CLI. The first step to deploy your code on a Heroku cloud is to install the Heroku CLI. So this is the official documentation page and uh, I'm going to provide this official documentation page on the description. Just go through that in according to your OS, like if you are using Mac OS, so use this command to install the Heroku CLI. If you are using the Windows, then first install the installer, then the, after installing the Heroku CLI, follow the other step for the Ubuntu first to installing the Heroku CLI on your local system, you can use this command. So in this video, I showed you that how you can install the Heroku CLI on Ubuntu system. For the Windows, I haven't created any video. If you want, I can create a video, a separate video that how you can install and set up the Heroku CLI on your Windows system. Okay. So the first step is to install the Heroku CLI on your local system. Just go through this documentation and after installing the Heroku CLI on your local system, let's follow the other step. Then the second step is you have to find out your node version. So to find out your node version, use node hyphen hyphen version. It will give you the node version. My version is 12.5x. So after finding your node version, the third step, just go on a package.json file inside the package.json file specify a new field that is an engine field with help of this engine field Heroku will know that which node version you are using okay with help of that Heroku cloud will install that specific node version on that particular environment and deploy your code so please specify your node version here so to specify your node version use the node and provide the 12.x it is for my case i'm using the 12.x version of the node so after this step the third step what you have to do is go on index.js and inside the index.js what i'm going to do that i'm going to create a app.route it will be a slash check it will be a gate method i'm just making this route for the checking purpose only request response and whenever a person will hit this slash check api then i'm going to response In JSON, your app is working fine. Basically, this is for only testing purpose. After deploying the code, I need to test that it is working fine or not. So with help of this API endpoint, I'm going to test that my app is working fine or not. I mean, my this node chase server after the deployment working fine or not. Now everything is all right. All the code we already wrote for the socket IO server. So let's deploy it. To deploy it, what we have to do. First thing, we have to use the Heroku login. With help of the Heroku login, we are going to log in to the Heroku website. And uh, I have to place any key, then it will launch on a browser. And log in here with help of your credential. So after creating a new account on Heroku, you have to log in. 
So I already created a new account on Heroku. If you don't have any new account on Heroku, please first sign up, then log in. So for my account is devstack in at the gmail.com. Provide the password. Click on a letter. I don't want it to implement the multi-factor authentication right now. Now you logged in. Technology will go on the Heroku CLI that logged in as a devstack at gmail.com, which means we logged in on a Heroku website. So after logging on a Heroku web, what we had to do that we had to initialize a local Git repository on our this project. So you can use the git init command to initialize a local Git repository over here. Okay, but for my case, I already initialized the local Git repository. That's why if I will type git remote hyphen v, then you will find that I already added a remote server name over here with the origin base. So with the help of that, I'm pushing the code on a GitHub. But for the Heroku, we need to add a Heroku remote base over here. Like here I have origin similar. We need uh, for the Heroku, we need a remote Git repository. So what is the next step for us is we have to use the Heroku create command. Whenever we will click on a Heroku create command, it will going to create a Heroku app and also and also it will going to add the Heroku remote repository URL on this project. So if you type again git remote hyphen V, then you will going to find that the Heroku remote repository URL is added on this project. So what is the next step? The next step is to add the, all the changes with help of the git add dot that will stage all the changes and commit the changes or just give a proper commit message Heroku deployment one. After committing all the changes, we have to use the git push and the base name, which is the Heroku master which is the branch name if i will click on a git push heroku master first it will going to push the code on a heroku then it will build the code and deploy the code on the heroku it will going to take some time because it will first install the all the dependency which we have in a node.js and uh, then it will deploy the code but remember always create a git ignore file before pushing the code on a github or on a heroku git repository like i created a git ignore uh, file and inside the git ignore file i just ignored the node module so we don't have to push the node module folder onto the remote git repository okay so always do this thing always add a git ignore file and ignore the node module folder now you can see that our app is deployed and this is the URL of the app. So let me copy this URL. Let's test it on a browser. So I'm going to use the same check endpoint which I created to test it. Okay, it is giving the issue. So we can debug the issue using the Heroku log tail command. So if I will paste the code over here, then we will get, oh sorry, I have to copy it. And I have to paste it Then let's debug that what issue we got. I just forgot to add the start script inside the package.json file. Okay, here we added only the dev script. We also have to add the start script. Okay, why I made this mistake with help of the node index, we can launch the server on the Heroku cloud. Okay, that is the production environment code. So in a, to launch your Node.js project on the production environment, we have to use the start script. So let's test it again. So first thing, let me just control C. Let me add the changes, get it add dot and git commit hyphen new bug fixed. Let me push the code on a git push origin 
not origin it's heroku master sorry for the delay first it will push the code on a heroku then after pushing the code it will build install and deploy it on a heroku cloud so build is successful and okay deployed let's test it again here okay now our app is working fine now you can use this heroku.com as the base url on the flutter app so if i will go on a chat app so in the chat app in an individual chat page what we were doing we were using the local host so instead of this local host now we can use this expose api okay so that's all so we deployed our code on a heroku and uh, in the next video we are going to use that or we can use the local host that's up to us so till that happy coding see you on the next video don't forget to like and share the video also please subscribe the channel and share the channel to your friend thank you all and thank you so much for your support